Hello friends, let's solve this simultaneous equation. So, so for x, y, and n, and these are the equations that we have. So the question is, how do we solve these equations? Look at this. This is x raised to the n square root plus y raised to the n square root is equal to 13. Now, is there a way I can transfer this equation to a quadratic equation? I think that's possible. So I am going to say, I can decide to say, let x raised to the n square root be equal to p. So let's try that out. Now, do you, before we even do that, do you know that x raised to the x raised to the n, the square root of x raised to the n, it can be also written as x raised to the n over 2. One of the laws of indices. If you have the square root, the square root can become raised to the power half, right? And if you multiply n by half, you are going to get n over 2. So that's what I'm going to do to equation 1 here. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So it's going to be x raised to the power n over 2, right? Plus y raised to the power what? Same thing, n over 2 is equal to 13. Now, I can say let p be equal to x raised to the power n over 2, and then q be equal to y raised to the power n over 2. Now, what's going to happen to the second equation? The same thing is going to happen, but before I do that, let me show you something. x raised to the power n, do you know that it is the same thing as x raised to the power n times 2 over 2? Because if you 2 will divide 2, and it gives you back x raised to the power n. So I'm trying to see how I can bring in this into this, this n over 2, into this second equation that has x raised to the power n. So let's try that out. Now, like I told you before, this is going to be this, x raised to the power n times 2 over 2. Now, for one of the laws of indices as well, if you have x raised to the power a, x raised to the power a in bracket b, this can also be, re be rewritten as x raised to the power b, a, because a times b is also a, b, as well as a times b is also a, b. Okay, now I'm going to do that right here. So this one now will become x raised to the power n over 2, then with the power of 2 here. It's the same thing, because if you divide 2 by 2, you have x raised to the power n, which is the same thing as this. Okay, now remember we said let p be equal to x raised to the power n over 2. So if I replace this now for p, it's going to be p squared. Because x raised to the power n over 2 is p. Then with this squared here, you have p squared. So for equation 1, I will have p plus what? q, because of what I have here. Here now q is equal to what? 13. Let's call this equation 3. Okay? Then second equation, remember, see what it, it gave us now. p squared, that would be p squared. Minus what? Now, what about y raised to the power n? The same thing is going to be q squared because you are going to have y raised to the power n over 2, then with 2 here. 2 will cancel to give you y raised to the power n back. But q is already y raised to the power n over 2. So this is going to be q squared. Hope this is making sense. So this is going to be q squared is equal to what? 13. Let's call this equation 4. I'm going to use difference of two squares here now. Let's use difference of two squares. P squared minus Q squared can be rewritten as P plus Q. If you factorize using difference of two squares, and P minus Q is equal to what? 13. Okay, so see what we have. But we know that P plus Q is equal to what? 13. So I'm going to substitute P plus Q for 13 in this equation. Let's call this equation 5. Well, we have so many equations here. But it's all good. Now I'm going to substitute p plus q for 13 in equation 5. So p plus q will now be replaced with 13. That will be 13. And then p minus q is equal to what 13. If you divide both sides by 13, if you divide this one by 13 and this by 13, you are going to have p, sorry, p minus q, okay, will be equal to what? 13 divided by 13 is 1. So it, equal to 1. Oh, let's call this equation 6. Lots of equations. But let me erase all this to make this work neat. Now, let's bring in p plus q is equal to 13 here. So, that's equation 3. So, let's put this here. p plus q is equal to 13. This is still from equation 3. I'll just say equation 3 here. Now, what am I going to do next? I need to, it's easy to get the values of p and q. So, I can decide to subtract. I can say equation 6 minus equation 3. And P minus Q is what? 
zero i've eliminated p what about minus q minus q that'll be minus 2q which is equal to what's 1 minus 13 that's minus 12. if you divide both sides by minus 2 q will be equal to what minus 12 over minus 2 which is equal to 6. so q is 6. now we can decide to get p using let's use equation 6 so i'm going to say substitute substitute q in equation what now six all right so that will be what p minus what's q q is what six is equal to what one so add six to both sides p will be equal to what one plus six which is equal to seven all right so we have the values of q and p respectively it's now time to go back to what we had before so from here now remember we said let let p be equal to x raised to the n over 2. We've gotten p and q, but we need to get x, y, and even n. So let's come back here now. I'll say but, or recall, but p is equal to what? x raised to the n over 2. Now looking at this, what is p? p is what? 7, right? p is 7. So write 7 is equal to x raised to the n over 2. So I want us to remove this 2 from here. Now this denominator of 2, I'm going to square both sides. Let's square both sides. So if you square both sides, these two will cancel the two, and you have 49 because 7 squared is 49 is equal to what? x raised to the power n. So what does this mean now? That x, so I'll say x, if you want to compare now, x is equal to 1, right? And then n is equal to 1. n is equal to, sorry, x is equal to 40, 49. x is equal to 49. Uh oh, 49. When x is 49, n is equal to what? one right but what about if we make 49 become 7 raised to the power 2 so if i say 7 raised to the power 2 is equal to what x raised to the power n what does this mean it means that when x is 7 n is equal to what 2 so we have two values respectively for x and for n now let's go do the same thing for q remember q is equal to what y raised to the power n over 2 now we already know that q is equal to what Q is equal to 6. So I'm going to substitute 6 for Q into this equation we have here. So let me just erase this part of the board. And that gives what Q? Q is what? 6. So that will be 6 is equal to what now? Y raised to power n over 2. Now, like I did before, I'm going to square both sides so that I will get rid of this squared. Then what I have here is now 36, which is equal to what? Y respond n now what does this mean it means that when y or when n is equal to 1 y is equal to what 36 all right now if i decide to write 36 as 6 raised to the power 2 so uh, 6 raised to the power 2 will still be equal to y raised to the power n so what does this mean now it means that when n is equal to 2 see if you compare now n is 2 your y is equal to what 6. so i want to bring n x and y together like this n x y so which means when n is 1 what is x x is 49 so when n is 1 x is 49 what about y so when n is 1 y is what 36 but we also have another set of values when n is 2 look at this when n is 2 what is x x is 7 and when n is 2 also here what is y y is 6 so these are the set of solutions that satisfy these equations. Now let's do some tests. Let's see whether if we put, um, let, let's try with this 1, 49, and 36. Let's put it here in equation 2. So when x is 1, sorry, when x is 49, n is 1 minus y is what 36, and n is of course 1 again. So let's see whether it will give us 13. What's 49 raised to the power 1? It is still 49. 36 raised to the power 1 is 36. If you subtract this 2, you are going to get 13. Now, I want you to try also for this set of, for this solution, 2, 7, and 6. Put n as 2, x as 7, and y as 6 into this equation. End of the equation, you will see that you will still get 13. So these are the solutions that satisfy this set of equations. If this video was helpful, kindly support my work by subscribing to this channel, like the videos, 
and share these videos to your friends and family. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Stay blessed.